All right, let's continue with our Final Fantasy. Um, the next quest is uh, the Gridanian Envoy, and I think this is the one that's going to be taking us outside of Gridania. Um, a little update on where we are with the other class, uh, with the other classes or jobs. Uh, we're now a level five carpenter. A level six botanist and a level five leather worker. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to level up goldsmithing, blacksmithing as well, maybe armor. Um, the crafting system in this game is so interdependent. It, it's not like Elder Scrolls Online. To make certain items, you need to be able to have skills in gold working, skills in blacksmithing and carpentry. You need to have like there's some items, like, to make them, you need to have skills in, like, three crafting disciplines. So, it's not just that you learn one and that's it. So, we're gonna be... I'll be doing that slowly. Off screen, I'll be showing you guys just a little highlight here and there. But, uh, for now, let's, uh, pursue this one. Greetings, good madam. This is the reservation counter for Limsa Laminsa bound flights. Oh, are you not Deft Paws, the Elder Seed Seer's personal envoy? We are highway... We at Highwind Skyways are honored to serve you. Will you be flying with us today? Okay, so we need to board the airship. I'm thinking it's uh, this way. Yep, let's go. Attention all passengers, the airship bound for Lithuania is says about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. find it funny that uh, we seem to be the only passenger aboard. <laughs> I don't see anyone else. Basically saying farewell down there in case you were wondering, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, it's not the last we've seen of Gridani. I'm pretty sure we'll be back. Our 
invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her, so ended our glorious conquest. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. So that uh, 
that little cuts in there introduced a whole host of questions. So Nero apparently is the leader of the empire and they're gonna make a second, a third attempt to try and take over Eosia after the events of the Calamity five years ago. So, they've still not given up their designs. We'll see where that leads. Right now, let's try to find a way out of here. Oh, you must be the envoy from Gidarnia. Welcome to Limsalaminsa, my lady. Admiral Blowfishwin awaits your arrival. Blowfishwin. What a weird name, okay. Okay, there is no looting in this game, so we'll just stick uh, to the main script. You're the Gridarnian Envoy? Welcome to Limsa Lominsa. The armor has been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the Crow's Lift at your earliest convenience. It will take you to Bulwark Hall. Once there, pray speak with Xanthiel. He'll be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room on the bridge. Is this not the elevator we're supposed to be going to? What have I missed? Oh, this is the lift attendant, okay. Okay, let's uh, ride to the Bulwark Hall. So we need to present Ken E. Senad's missive to Xanthiel at Bulwark Hall. But first, let's attune ourselves to this, um... Yeah, let's attune ourselves to the to the ETH right right here. Just to get us started. You attune to the ETH right. Greetings, madame, and welcome to our fair city. If you would permit me to examine the seal on the missive you carry... Yes, everything seems to be in order. My apologies. We cannot afford to be complacent, you understand. Please, step this way. Enter. I did not expect the Gridanian envoy to be an adventurer. It speaks highly of your character that the Elder Seedseer would choose an outsider to represent her nation's interests. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from the Black Shroud? Hmm, a memorial service to honor the fallen. Seven Hells, has it been five years? 
Five years since the Garlean Empire sought to wrest Eorzea from our grasp. It was in answer to the Imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Eorzean Alliance anew. But Garlemald but Garlmald was not content to wager all on a simple contest of martial might. They had other plans, the Meteor Project. Legatus Neil Van Darmus, Hells Take Him, intended to cleanse our realm by snatching the lesser moon, Dalamud from the heavens, and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to prevent this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to the Catno Flats and there met with and there met the, the seventh Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartano, and I have seen full, full many. But though we gave no quarter, spared not one ounce of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Dalamud came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. Twas the Elder Prime of Bahamut, bent on making an eighth hell of Eorzea. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame, while our own armies fared little better. Twas as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I stilled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and still, and the still smoldering, smoldering land was warped beyond all knowing. Were Arkan Louis saw still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on these unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not, and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. For while our nation struggled to recover from the devastation, the beastmen called forth their damned primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences and rebuild now, our force will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only for the, of the beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim on Eorzea. The Imperials crowd our borders, waiting to strike. Damn it all, we need champions to replace, them, to replace those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short and none will save, save us, save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the calamity to work together for the good of Eosia, and this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. Aye, Kane Sina has the right of it. I accept her proposal. Your duty is done here, adventurer. I will see to it that the Elder Seed Seer receives my reply. You travel next to Olda, yes? Pray give my regards to General Robon. Oh, and tell him the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. A private jest, and one in poor taste. But I would have to have you tell it all the same. Fare you well, Deft. May the navigator guide you on your journey. So now we need to head back and find a way to Uldar. But before we do that, I want to I want to find the the blacksmith's guild in this place. I know that uh, the blacksmith's guild is in Limsalomensa. Because uh, definitely we're going to need blacksmithing, we're going to need goldsmithing. Probably what I'll do is um, I'll be equipping those uh, secondary classes and then completing side quests with them so that I can level them up. Let's just activate all these little Aetherite shards. There, I see the Arcanist's Guild on the top. I'm 
not looking to join the Arcanist Guild. I'm looking for the Blacksmith Guild. Or the Goldsmith Guild. But I'm most like, mostly the Blacksmith Guild. Let's first search out the whole lower floor and make sure it's not here. I found the Fisherman's Guild. But that's not what we were looking for. This seems to end right there. So I think we're gonna have to head back and go upstairs to try to find the blacksmith guild. Tune ourselves to this uh, etherite shard. This is the Adventurer's Guild. Oh yes, Culinarian's Guild. Yeah, that's something I'll, uh, I'll, I'm definitely interested in. I beg your pardons, good madam, but this is the Culinarian's Guild. If you're here to dine at the Bismarck, one of our waiters will be along shortly to show you to your... Oh, you're not a patent? Might I assume then that you wish to become a Culinarian? If so, I wholeheartedly recommend you to join the Culinarian's Guild, where one may learn the culinary arts under the finest chefs in all the realm. What say you? Wonderful. Then without further ado, I shall acquaint you with the history of our guild. 
As you are doubtless aware, Limsa Lamissa has long been the gastronomic capital of Eorzea. The city's rich culinary tradition is the product of a unique combination of factors. The first is our proximity to the fertile lands and plentiful seas of Vilbrand, which have ever yielded bounteous produce. The second is our standing as the realm's foremost trading port, which grants us access not only to exotic ingredients from faraway shores, but also to foreign merchants versed in their use. We are, in short, the beneficiaries of culinary knowledge from every corner of the world. Until recently, knowledge of this kind was passed on solely through word of mouth and was therefore susceptible to corruption and loss. But all that changed when one man made it his mission to catalog every recipe of note. His name was Admiral Golskiff Baldwinson, also known as Mass Cleaver. The man's love of fine cuisine was such that at sea he would regularly spend as much time preparing meals in the galley as giving commands on the bridge. It was none other than he who founded the culinary Guild and codified cooking mythology. Today, the guild carries on Baldrizen's legacy. Though the scope of our endeavors has expanded significantly, not content with simply preserving existing recipes, we labor, to tirelessly, we labor tirelessly to devise wholly novel culinary creations with which to delight the senses. To this end, our doors are open to folk from all walks of life, including adventurers such as your good self. One may liken our guild to a great pot of, pot of stew, and each member to an ingredient imparting a unique flavor. As with every dish, however, adding ingredients will nearly is certain to spoil the taste. Before you make, you may take your place in the pot, you must be deemed a worthwhile addition by guild master Ling Sath, a man whose passion for cookery burns hotter than any oven. Before troubling him, I must warn you that ours is truly a sweltering kitchen. As such, you would be well advised to ask yourself, can I stand the heat? If you earnestly believe that you can, speak to me once more and I shall be glad to guide you through the enrollment process. All right, Charlie's uh, would have you reaffirm your desire to join the Culinarian's Guild. Wonderful, then you must speak to Guildmaster Ling Seth at once. This will come as no surprise, but he is the finest chef in Limsa Lamensa. His skill and dedication are second to none. You will find the guildmaster up the stairs yonder, keeping a watchful eye on his charges. Impress upon him your desire to learn, and he will surely find a place for you in his stew, by which I mean the guild. Yes, so we found the Culinarian's Guild. I'm pretty sure this is going to be similar to provisioning. It will allow us to, to take stuff that will buff our stats. Well met, Venturer. I take it you want to join our guild. Let's have a good look at you then. Bah, what's an honor to fend whelp like you know about cooking? Judging by them scrawny arms of yours, you'd struggle to lift a spoon, never mind a skillet. I jest. I don't take muscle to be a culinarian. Ills won't even take talent. Less not on its own. No lass, more than anything else, becoming a good cook boils down to passion. If you got that, there ain't nothing you can't achieve, so tell me, have you got it? That's the spirit. Aye, your passion for the culinary arts is plain to see. And you'll be needing every bit of it if you want to become a master culinarian. Why? If mastery was a 12-course dinner, I'd hardly have finished the soup. Make no mistake, our trades are as tough as old mutton, and passion's the only thing that gets us through with the grisly bits. But enough talk. What do you call yourself? Well then, Delft, uh, welcome to the guild. To mark the occasion, I present you with your very own skillet. Ain't much to look at, but it'll more, but it'll more and serve a novice like yourself. Now then, let's see whether you can tell which ends which. I know I said you'd struggle to lift a spoon, but you've won me over. Now, show me you can hold a skillet, and I'll get you started on your first task. Okay, so we need to come here and equip the skillet. Alright, now let's go ahead and take a break right here. We'll be right back uh, with more Final Fantasy XIV.